Good evening everyone and welcome to the 2014 VIS Award of Excellence Night. Here to celebrate some big achievement from VIS athletes. I'm here with my co-host Kate Maloney and what a year it's been Kate. Yeah definitely, it's been a huge year at the VIS. We've had the Sochi Winter Olympic Games, Paralympic Games, multiple World Championships, the Commonwealth Games over in Glasgow and most importantly the ANZ Championship Premiers. Of course we have Kate. Who could forget the Vixens ANZ Championship winning team? But it's not all about netball tonight. We're here to celebrate lots of the athletes from the VIS and some of the staff. Let's go and chat to a few now. Ryan, you uh, had a couple of good results this year. Talk us through them. Yeah, I uh, had a pretty good year in 2014. I won the Riversdale Cup uh, at the start of the year. Uh, the Australian Juniors kind of in April and then the Calais World Juniors. So it's been a pretty good year. Now you're also nominated for a few awards tonight. What do you think your odds are going in? God, I don't know. I'd I don't talk to half the people, we never see them, so there's some amazing athletes in the room. I've, I'd, I'd give it a 50-50, I don't know, there's some amazing people. Mac, it's been a big year for yourself, what are some of your highlights? Uh, probably silver at Com Games in the 1500, uh, also swam the 400 at Com Games, so that was really good. Um, and then Pan Packs a couple of weeks later, so yeah, it was just really great to represent my country. And I also hear you won a pretty interesting and a pretty amazing award. Would you have to share with us that? Yeah, I won uh, the Wang Yung Dai Award in, in Sochi, which was awarded to one male and one female at the Games, and that was for uh, someone who best exemplifies the Paralympic spirit. Can you elaborate on the difference between, uh, say, 2013 and 2014? Well, we did have a couple of new additions to the team, uh, me being one of them. Um, but there were a couple of other, you know, people we had involved. Our new strength conditioning, uh, yourself, Luke Mackey, came on board, really whipped us into shape. <laughs> Fantastic to hear that, Joe. Great to see the winner is Miller Tapper. <laughs> certain people I want to thank. I mean, I'll end up naming the entire VIS, but <laughs> um, that's honestly how I feel. And you guys, um, yeah, you definitely can't achieve much as an athlete without an amazing team. The winner of the 2014 Gatorade Spirit Award, it's a joint uh, award, to Lydia Lasilla and Nazem Adam. Tonight, I want to especially thank my family at the VIS. You have been incredible support for the last 14 years. I want to thank all the staff, past and present, especially Anne-Marie, Paul, Nerissa, Bernadette for your support and guidance, Wendy and Kate, the team of doctors and the sisters, uh, and especially Harry. <laughs> Seriously, she wrote this. Is. It's, a, it's a stitch up. What is the most gruelling part of your training, you reckon? On court, gym, conditioning. It's probably on court. Um, Smithy, who's our fitness coach, um, he, um, you know, we sort of think, is he trying to kill us, or you know, is he trying to get us in shape for rugby? But um, it's hard work. You know, he sets our program six days a week, and you know, you look back, and it really does pay off. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2014 Frank Park Achievement Award is Alyssa Campbell. Um, from a life perspective. I just do my best. Um, sometimes I get a good deal in life, sometimes I've had a pretty crappy deal. Um, but I guess I take forward the skills and the experiences I learnt from sport, and that is that when you get knocked down, you have really only one choice, and that is to get back up. Because sobbing in the corner can only last for so long, and being a victim doesn't get you anywhere. So you just get up, keep fighting, and you realise that the sun does rise every morning, and you get to choose it to look at it and enjoy the pleasure of a new day and a new opportunity um, and to keep soldiering forward. The winner is Jacinta Carroll. Talk us through your nerdiness. What have you been nerdy this year with? Uh, I just love studying. It provides me such great pastime. So every chance, no, but I'm being, being serious. Every chance that I have, I study. I love it. And the winner of the 2014 Two Times Year Youth Award is Alastair Donahue. What would be your biggest achievement for 2014? Oh, definitely the, the World Champs Road Race. That was like the icing on the cake of an already wicked season for me. You know, I, I got uh, two, two bronze World Championship medals earlier on the year and then coming into the, uh, to the road race I, in a World Cup, I, I managed to win that. It does take a, uh, a very special sporting uh, moment to stand out uh, from such an exceptional uh, 
group of sporting achievements. Uh, so tonight's winner uh, has done, done just that. Uh, his achievement uh, in the outstanding feat of winning a silver medal at Sochi, the first ever male to win the Olympic Aerials medal. It's a great honour to announce the shy and retiring David Morris <laughs> as the winner of the 2014 Award of Excellence. Eight years to ask my coach for help for when I was scared because I'm a boy and you know we're all macho. And I wonder at the Olympics I was like, look, I'm kind of scared today. And he's like, all right, step down. And we got a medal from it because I admitted my faults and um, just acknowledged myself as a person and what my limits were. So if I can teach younger people lessons that took me years and save them some time, that would be a legacy that I'd like to leave behind. We'd just like to give a big congratulations to all the nominees of the awards and all the award recipients. A big congratulations though goes to David Morris on taking out the award of excellence. It has been a big night, Kate. Uh, I'd like to congratulate the award winners as well. Uh, also point your attention to our Facebook, our Twitter, and our Instagram accounts, and also our YouTube channel, VISTV. Looking forward to seeing you guys in 2015. VISTV.